So you want to talk about sniper tips. Let's get to it. Tip number one is going to be sweet spots. So almost every sniper rifle is going to have what's called a sweet spot, which means whenever you shoot them, it's going to deliver 100 points of damage to the person, meaning one shot, one kill. Now, not every single one of them is going to have this, but I can give you a list of the ones that do. Now, keep in mind, the variants could, could differ a little bit, so make sure you go and double-check what I'm saying with Synthet.com to find out the exact range for your sniper rifle. The sniper rifles and their sweet spot ranges are as followed. The Martini is going to be the closest one, which is 30 meters to 80 meters. Up next is going to be the SMLE from 40 to the 75 meters. Russian is going to be next from 60 to 100. Right after that, you got the Gur, which is 80 to 125. And then the last one on the list is going to be M1903, which is 100 to 150 meters. So that's going to be your longest sniper rifle. And the shortest one for the shortest distance for the most aggressive players is probably going to be Martini. However, that one is the one that you unlock at level 10. So it's going to take a long time to unlock that one. So the fastest way to unlock these weapons, to level up with Scout, is going to be to try and play the objective, but don't be too crazy because if you're dead, you're not getting points. But make sure you're spotting a lot of people. Uh, I recommend using a telescope because that will actually outline everyone. Um, or you can just use your sniper rifle to, to spot everybody. If you can't take the shot or before you take the shot, it only takes a split second to spot them. So every person you spot, you're letting the teammates know where they're at, what you're doing your job. And then whenever they get kills on them, you're going to get spot assist. Or if you get the kill, then obviously you get points there. So the fastest way to level up your scout class is going to make sure that you're uh, highlighting everyone that you possibly can at the telescope. If you are not got that equipped, then make sure that you're spotting everyone. Uh, I also run with the anti um, armor piercing round, uh, which is where you press right on the directional pad for PlayStation, and I don't know the rest for Xbox or PC, but it switches, it puts you got five rounds of armor piercing. And what this does is it allows you to shoot like tanks and disable their weapon system and then disable the tank itself. So make sure you got that equipped as well, because that's a huge, huge asset to the team. And then the last tip I would have for help you rank up fast is make sure you're looking out for those anti-aircraft vehicles, uh, not vehicles, but anti-aircraft uh, weapons, um, like the, the mounted machine guns on the ground and stuff like that. So take those guys out. That's going to give you a huge amount of points as well. All these things combined is going to help you level up your scout class a lot faster to allow you to get to that uh, top 10 um, martini, or not top 10, but level 10 martini sniper rifle. Next tip is going to be your sidearm. So make sure that you're running around with the pistol that you are you know, decently good at or the best at. The, my personal recommendation is going to be the Mars automatic. However, my biggest complaint about the sidearms is that the magazine capacity in the uh, sidearms is not that great. I wish we had 12 to 15 round magazines for most of the sidearms. Um, but the closest you're going to get to that is going to be the 11 round Mars automatic. So I definitely say run with that one, but the rate of fire I think is like 200. Not 100% sure. So it's not going to be the best uh, one to use. However, a lot of people do think it is just because of its uh, its magazine size. So keep that in mind. Make sure you're practicing around, trying out different ones. I've tried on almost every single one of them, and the Mars is my favorite just because of the magazine capacity. However, it will be out um, outshot by a lot of different pistols. So keep that. The next tip. I see this with a lot of snipers. So please, please listen to this one. This is a huge, huge deal. This one will get you killed if you do not listen to it. Sniper glint. All right, so every time that you aim down sight with a uh, sniper rifle that's got a high power telescope, so anything that's got zoom on it, is going to allow you to s allow like the sun to reflect off of it, causing a glint. I know you've seen it, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're aiming down sights for more than like three or four seconds, then that's going off right about at that point. So make sure that you're only uh, aiming down sight for like a few seconds and then coming back out. So what I like to do is you're going to see in these videos is I like to look around without aiming down sight. However, I can aim down sight and not have to worry about that because I do not use a telescope for that particular reason. It allows me to aim down sight and be completely ready. Um, when I, but whenever I do use a telescope, I always make sure that I'm not aiming down sight for more than three or four seconds. So this way, I'm creating a less chance of them seeing my sniper. All right, so that pretty much does it for this video. Leave a comment down below on any tips you think I might have left out or suggestions that you think I could do to help improve my sniping game. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.